I need to rerun stupid, stupid <laughs> things. So basically, just go here, and go start to go down carefully. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hello, Skelly, and thank you for following Paddy T and Roid, Roid from the Sortanan Nancy. Welcome. Hootmoot Root, Commander Ivy. Hey, thanks, thanks for riding, raiding me, people. This is this is really <laughs> heartwarming, really. I'm really surprised. You you got got to raid me. Uh, a really speedless, definitely. <laughs> Hello everyone, yeah. So have you people played the Deliver Us Moon before this? It, it's a pleasure. Thanks for playing Mars. Hey, I, I love this game, definitely. I recall I packed up, packed up the, the Deliver Us Moon. So, when I heard that there's going to be a sequel, yeah, sure. Well, why not? I mean, I mean, definitely I'm going to play this. And I, I, I love to see that this game has been evolving, uh, both story-wise and the game mechanics. So, I've been working with the game industry myself, so that's that's why I have, I have some some kind of uh, authority or maybe some kind of knowledge on, on the on the game designing development matters, actually teaching the Unity development in a vocational school. Very happy to hear. Be careful of Mars attacks. <laughs> Play, playing Devil Ever as Mars. Pizza. Wow. So it's philo philosopher's st stone, basically. Is that the uh, arc they just lost? I recall they actually told at the beginning, at the orbiter, that they were like... Arc they had lost. Okay, there's a two-way base around. Let's go right. Liking shooter game. Go Always go right, right and shoot at anyone that 
comes across. Although she actually threw the guns, guns away, so that's not going to be an option. We are in a pacifistic mode here. Let's hope the others, others actually agree on that. So, big axis. Some kind of robot. Can I climb this? No, there's like... Yeah, there's pre perfectly good tower here, but we can probably climb here. Leroy! Ah. Careful, careful. We are going to get, get through this. Yeah. She's great. Okay, this this looks like burn burnout weather even. And this has the seems like Mars has uh normal Finnish uh summer climate. See you next time. Enjoy the game. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I, I will Definitely going to. I mean, I, I like the game even even from the deliverer the mood. It it was it was like really really emotional towards the end. And I was like, uh, I was shocked when I actually saw that Sarah Baker was was in in this game. Because she was the one we we actually tried to find the whole whole deliver as the moon game. Okay. Slightly creepy. This game uses music sparingly. Which is a good thing I think. Let's see if this falls down. No, we are good. Whatever Odin's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. So basically their colonization was failing. And people were like re really torn about it. So my th working theory at this point is that this colonization effort actually failed. And that kind of led to the colonists leaving leaving uh, Mars, maybe to Earth or something. Victoria. Market. You are one with the badge. black market something happened at the main complex I got to go make a note of this okay so it all went down crashing for some reason and yeah Mars planet actually has a uh, Mars quakes not earth earthquakes Mars quakes So I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. Most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time for the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. Yeah. These people are starving. And for what? The Carson pipe dream? Well, we don't know what caused the famine yet. Or if it was to blame. Right. Kathy, be careful, alright? 
Will do. I'll keep sending sit reps. Earth is our home. Okay, they have probably tried to left for Earth. But whatever happened. I think we might uh, actually uncover a huge strategy tra here. Three D puzzle. <laughs> it was like it was like it was like just falling apart bit by bit. Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Yeah, really. <laughs> This convention announced, um, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a Big Jumbos, or something like Big Jumbos. Oh, such a silly name. So I bet. <laughs> you know, it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's um, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us all the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for him. You should be even careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth yet. <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. What planet? You think, um... Think Kathy's on? What? Uh, of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, don't even know what she looks like. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what she's... Well, she's into she was so she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably I really wanted her to be on that way. I really did. I just she couldn't and then I left her. You know? I just left her that. I mean I left her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad I'm a bad father. You're not I know I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left her. I left my father. I left my father. Father. Isaac, you're not. I left her there. Why would she do that? It's okay. Just. Yeah, I, I played the Deliverance to Moon. I actually was the uh, I was one of those who actually backed it up in a Kickstarter. Who really really liked it, and I actually liked how how this game actually expands the story. Sli slightly red con, but. Continues it smoothly. Yeah, she she actually heard what she wanted to. Okay. That let's, her that her father actually thought up them. thought about her. I'm fine, Ella. Let's go. Okay, uh, which way? This way? Was this right way? I think this is the right way. Because there's like... Jumping puzzle here.
yeah, I <laughs> I didn't have a time to replay the uh, Deliver as the move, but I remember it uh, vividly. Actually, wrote a review about it and stuff like that. Really, really not well, not not very well, well known game in any any sense in India game. I actually heard about uh, Deliverous Moon, there was, there's this go, go, guy called uh, Scott Manley, who actually makes uh, lots of sci-fi and, and scientific stuff, but rockets and stuff, so he, he kind of reviewed the uh, first first uh, alpha of the of the Deliverous Moon, and I heard, that. He heard about this and thought that it, it was really cool interstellar kind of uh, story. definitely going home so I wonder who won those who wanted to stay here or those who were wanted to left I see yeah sure I, I, I really like sci-fi games play a play a lot of those actually actually I I I loved reading sci-fi actually did did read sci-fi from the from the when I learned to read basically young from a young age. I'll get that done. Heating coils. Ah, uh, that could actually work. That's like sci-fi version version of the heating coil, but yeah, yeah. They're, Looks a bit like that, but let's go home. Ho home is where your heart is, isn't that the uh, saying? And her father's heart was with with uh, with her daughter in, Sarah, in that Earth. Sarah, group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. Process people. I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They used this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. Just reckless. Yeah. The... yeah. What wanted yes. to force the colonists to return Earth. test this theory okay apparently it works I mean I mean okay, Ada. I would assume that if I add like three plus uh, plus something uh, that's not going to be okay I just didn't get this math at all <laughs> OG and remaster and they love the remaster. Yeah, that's that's great. Okay, we got, got diving. Wow, this game has everything. I mean, I mean a lot more stuff than original one. There were a lot of uh, exposition in in first game, Deliver Us Moon. But this has more like uh, game mechanics and core, core game play ideas. Like this is really new thing that okay, uh, there's some kind of horrible swimming scene here. Okay. One, two, 
three, four, five. Uh, no, 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 no. That's that's not good. Space suits do not actually make good diving suits, but this is like sci-fi skin suit, so it might might not have a negative buoyancy. Because if you ha it has negative buoyancy, it's going down to the bottom and stays there. Elevator is out. Yes, red light. Universal si signal of the not 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 in not in working condition. I wonder if this going goes down crashing. Okay, now we need to jump across again. Nothing here. I'm still finding loot, eh. although this game doesn't have any loot. people or not that is the good question of course she doesn't trip she doesn't reply she just goes and gets to the rubble this is frozen shot those might not be alive people I mean and plants alive so some of the colonists might be still alive let's see what happens me of one of the places in dead space the hydroponics <laughs> they were just vines yeah she's disappointed like mutant plant so basically their plants didn't stand the environment of the Mars
almost. Let's. Oh, right. now I got it. I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How. How long until the ration plan is back on track? Never. I think we need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and. Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and yeah, shame. Yeah, he's, he's Elon Musk. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I he, he's, he's in I'm total the denial. Survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere and we destroyed it in less than three years because of pointless arguments petty squabbling intelligent sane people devolved into stupid irrational cavemen tell me this Isaac why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism why were our last years on earth accompanied by endless wars over resources why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are and always will be too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere and we will succeed. Outward was working. Uh -huh. Outward is working. Doesn't look like the it. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends. The you don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Sad face. Not giving a damn about Earth. Bad story. I remember when he said that before. I don't care. Keep a damn about Earth. Is that, is that it? And this is her memory. Kathy, everything okay? Hey, are you okay? Are you sure? If you have a cold, are you sure you're okay? Do you want to find us? Hurricane da damage. Are you okay? Sure. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. A tornado. Tell me what the hell you were thinking. You do not take a child to that fucking death trap in the bay. The WSA can teach her all that training. I'll just teach them myself. I know I don't trust them. Why don't trust you? Because my opinion counts. Yeah, I seem almost drowned, drowned in a space station. Appear back on Earth and take her in that fact. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. Please. I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth! Yeah. All I care about is her! Hmm. And what about me, Dad? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
not a clown. Father loved Kathy more than Claire. That's how, why he had so much difficult to be in Mars, because he was doing this all for Kathy. startled me. Now where are we going? Uh, it's a Mars planet so... Ka kind of goes with the territory. ACE units with us, so things are a bit diff uh, difficult. Creepy underwater exploration. Oh, it's depleting. That's not a good sign at all. Luckily, she's experienced diver. So, funny thing is that everything her father told her, climbing and diving, are skills she actually needs in Mars. Yeah, I can, I can buy that. Spacesuits are not made f meant for diving. So I need to press S and then I need to press space. So that's it, it uh, jumps to the opposite uh, wall. Okay. Nice to know. I don't know what 
that was. Okay. Right. So, on we go. Yeah, sure. We need to do same kind of jump again here. Repeat that one. That was a bit too close. Okay. Now we got out. So, uh, viewers, what, what's your favorite sci-fi game from all, all time? Just in, interested. What's what's your? If we want to play sci-fi game, what what would would it be? Would it be like action horror, like Dead Space, or a philosophical uh, game like like this? Okay, we are back here. We've made it back inside. Where do you want me to go? We cleared the blockade with the elevator. So should we take that up when you're ready? Copy that. I'll make a note of this. Hello. What the hell happened here? Maybe we arrived too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Is everything all right, Sarah? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look. More bodies. So Security good. Drones. Hate these things. Oh, those ones. Okay? Ouch. Yeah. Not an easy question. Yeah, sure. Fine. But we should turn back. It's clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened in Zadi. But we're easy targets now, though. Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Anything you can... <laughs> okay, she was scared. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on there? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. Look at this. Okay. How were to buy the door? Probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So. They were attacking outward instead of homeward. Okay. What's the deal with security ASCs? One attacked her on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and you know the rest. Right. Okay. Maybe now. Okay, now, now I can. These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless they weren't trying to escape. Okay. Seems like a perch. Did that door just open by itself? What was that? I know that sound. Came from over there. Okay, that's a AC unit, not the uh, not the robot card.
Better write that down. Okay. <sighs> Not good at all. I wonder how long they have been dead. How does it come to this? Petechial hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They suffocated. Everyone? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Both homeward and outward. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah. Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple. <laughs> White lie. What? Play it. Our main character is not really a team player. Yeah, but it's a bit, a bit sad to see see them like this. No homecoming. But we haven't really uh, found everyone, so let's see what happened to her father and. Other lunar con you console are members. You are delusional if you think Mars will ever be safe for us. You destroyed Oda. It's unsafe here because of you. We need to go home to Earth. We can't stay here. Earth is a lost cause. Why don't you see that? I will not die without seeing my family again. People, people, please. Enough. Look at that the guy. Fighting like cornered animals. That part is really sad, yeah. That. Things here haven't been easy, but it's hardship we have to endure to make up with work. It's hardship we had foreseen. Those of you who wish to return with the Ox, what do you think Earth will do with them? Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each but he is not listening. Would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Ox and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. <laughs> Pushing the Maybe game bugged out. Always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we... Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. 
If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arcs. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. Okay. Rebellion. How... Rosa... What have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! My god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Oldham. Rosa is just as culpable, don't you think? Rosa? Kind of. You must be yeah. Thinking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against him is completely justified. She, she, she's like her father. She really doesn't take sides in this question. <laughs> yeah, let's let's leave the team behind that to, to uh, yeah talk about philosophy. Because she wants to find her father. Is and that Ace? Oh my god, it's Ace! He made it here with Dad. He's leading us somewhere. Ayla, could it be? Yeah, her father left the message. Among stars. Another puzzle here. Ace, wait. How do you get in there? Let's take another way around. See what's here. Okay, there's a easy interface here. That just didn't look close close enough. Well, then make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Ark Labos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parlay on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please he tries to play to both sides, and listening. it's not going to work out. What about people who support Atwood and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now. We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it.
Why? Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together. How is this happening? I hope they're okay. Six and a half hours later. What? Alright. Now I think I, I, I get it. So where did I leave the first resistor? Here. We'll, we'll put it uh, in front of the beam and then we can actually get the, get the second resistor. I'm officially stupid. Yeah, that's that's like... I, I don't know if it's, it's a good idea that uh, puzzle games make you feel stupid. I, I think it should be the other way around, but yeah. Most of the time they actually... actually make me feel uh, that I should have noticed it this noticed this before <sighs> before it, uh, it takes like huge amount of time Right then, nice. Yes, very very nice. Took like what half an hour or something. Ah. And now second puzzle. Apparently not too difficult puzzle. Sad thing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so Rosa crawled here and and she died. Still with Rose after all these years? Why didn't you tell us where you were going? I... I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Lavos to stop Rosa and Homeward from activating the launch sequence. Then... I think he shut off the oxygen in the entire colony. You've seen Isaac and his holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Lavos from the bridge. 
We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead, Kathy. Everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. Yeah, she doesn't want to find her father. So. So. What do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 6754-N Ownership transfer Lunar Council override 170544 Isaac Johansson Say your name Say my Ryan Delianen AC units seem to be like well, dogs. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone has their own robot service server servitor. Kathy, align the dish with Arc Lavos. map. I think it might be. I wonder why they shoot it down in the first place. It's done. Right. Ryan, conduct final checks, and then we're gone. On it. Sarah. What the? Stranded. what happened. MPTs don't work like that. I couldn't have made it happen even if I wanted to. Not that I wanted to. I, yeah, I just... Yeah, I know. Is she okay? Yeah. 
Now she'll be fine. She just needs a... a second. Or two. Or a few hours. Or a day. Or a week. So... What now? You get How your wish. That the NPT dish can still be hooked up, do you think? Not very likely. So, there's a small chance. Well, we'd have to hope that the dish didn't take the brunt of the impact. And even if it didn't, it'd need to be in line of sight with Habitas, and I'd have to check all the transformers and converters and hope that I, they're I also intact. I think it's the intact. last bit of hope we have. Mm, pretty much. I, um, I can't leave Sarah like this. But I can take your lead on this from here. Okay. Cat. We're counting on you. I bet. That might have been her dad to pre prevent 